So how to add to your choice of texture materials when you're doing 3D rendering in ARCHICAD. Let's say you had a situation where you need to show, say, clabbered siding. Uh, it's helpful to do a quick, uh, simple building off to the side of your regular building uh, just to check out textures when you need to. So the way textures work in this software let's say I pick that particular wall and I go to the wall uh, tool here and under model I can pick the textures. I'll just change all the sides of the wall at once. Notice that if I pick a color it will change to that color of course and in these um, choices here in these choices you have little uh, pictures here. These are colors, the little color. This is green, this is yellow obviously. Um, over here to the right, if you look at Cedar Shakes, you know that the color will be this tan color. Right here you have a little tiny swatch of what looks like bricks. And right here, this is the international symbol for the Macintosh. It means an image. So when you pick something like that, that will be Cedar Shakes. Now what it's doing is, is this swatch here is a vector graphic that only shows up in one particular circumstance. So for instance, let's say I go down to the siding right here. And notice that this will be tan. I'll use the tan one here. This one has just those lines here and it does not have a texture. So if I go to it, notice it just looks tan. And even when I go to photo render, it's also not going to show me any lines. That particular type of uh, image only shows up if you go to the 3D window settings and on vectorial 3D hatching, you notice it, it's grayed out. I can even turn it on. So two things have to happen there. You have to go to the internal 3D engine first, and then when you go to the um, 3D window settings, notice I can turn on the vectorial hatching, in which case it'll show me lines or lines for where the bricks are and so on. This has certain uses. Uh, and sometimes it looks okay, and it depends on your circumstance. But let's say you're photo rendering something, photo render with these settings here. And it doesn't matter whether you're using the Lightworks engines or the internal engines for this particular uh, task. I'll go to OpenGL just because it's faster to render things. So let's say if I go to the 3D window, select this. So this particular one, the exterior uh, siding, does not have that little picture right next to it. So if you look around, some of these do and some do not. For instance, the uh, siding here, the 6-inch exterior siding, does have a little photo attached. That's what you're seeing in this circumstance. It's a photo. Notice it doesn't look terribly good. Uh, it could suffice for siding, maybe. But there's better looking stuff if you take one more little step here. Where these photos are, are under your attributes. So when you are selecting a wall, for instance, and picking a material for it, it will look like this, where do these things come? The brick alpha, the cedar shakes, and all these kind of stuff. It looks kind of limited. Well, there are tens of thousands, billions of textures that are possible. They're just giving you sort of an assortment here. Uh, there's a lot more that are already built into ARCHICAD, but they just aren't immediately obvious how you pull them up. In order to get another type of material, you need to duplicate these, and you do all of this within your Attribute Manager. That's under Options, Attributes. There's the Attribute Manager where you can transfer them from other drawings and, uh, and so on, but under the Attribute Settings, see, here are Materials. And so each material that's listed in that previous thing, here's the colors, here's wood flooring. If I scroll up here, here's the exterior siding, for instance. Um, and it's helpful to look at the brick here. What's happening is you have some settings here. You have a vectorial hatch. That's where it's going to show you this little uh, line drawing when, when you're using that particular setting. But what's most important is the texture. So if you look at some of these materials, like the color, like the green one here, there is no texture. And when I go to that uh, siding right here, the exterior tan siding, there was a vectorial hatch, that's why you got lines in one of those views with the internal engine, uh, but you didn't have any texture right here. I could give it a texture. If I hit the search button, I could always select one. 
best is not to mess with the the textures that are built into ARCHICAD. Best is to pick something that's similar. So I'll pick, say, the exterior siding 12 inches and go and duplicate it and create your own texture. So I'm going to duplicate that and something I always do is I put my initials in the name of any texture I create so I can quickly transfer them to another drawing if need be. So I'm going to call this SIDI, I'll call this Siding Gray, G-R-E-Y. Uh, I won't put a size, I'll just call it Siding Gray Siding and hit OK. Now in that same list under G I have my new uh, flips a little too fast here, GML gray siding. And that's what it looks like at the moment. I could change what color I see uh, when I'm working. That doesn't really matter. And uh, most important, I could add a different vectorial hatch. I don't, that doesn't really matter either. What's most important is the texture. And to change the texture, I just hit this little search button. And now, if you don't see the object library, make sure you pull it up. This is ARCHICAD 9, so it goes object library 9. Uh, you could use Lightworks if you need to, but under Textures, notice you've got fabrics, flooring, pictures, and other types of things. Notice I could go to Wood. Now there's a lot more woods in here than were obvious before. There's also a lot more stonework and uh, granites and uh, castle rock and marbles and so on than were listed before. So similarly, under Wall Finishes, they've got cedar siding, gray cedar siding, uh, like we use in New England, dark siding, light siding, there's log walls, medium siding, and so on. So let's say I like this siding, the me medium siding, which looks okay. You just hit okay. Now when I use GML siding gray, that's what it's going to look like. So I hit okay. So here is the, the new siding right here. You can also change the size of these sidings over here with this little swatch right here. Uh, with this, you could use, say, a picture of pebbles and make them look like huge boulders or make it look like sand, depending on what numbers you pick. This right here is showing you the sample. So that's just one, that's the image itself. And this is showing you what it'll look like when it's mapped onto a bigger surface, 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three type of grid. That's all that's doing. But that's the actual image itself. So when I hit OK on that, and let's say I want to use this texture, I select that wall and this wall, and let's say this wall over here, for instance, as well. And I just go to the wall tool. I select that, go down to my GML siding. It's hard to select because of the way it's scrolling here and select it, hit OK, and there is my siding. I can make this uh, any size I like. Uh, if you do zoom in, you can see it. And now if I zoom out, to actually see that in the photo render, you go to photo render settings and then hit go. It's going to automatically be small unless you size that to the, the other thing. Let's see, size to 3D window right here. Hit OK, image, photo render, and that's how it'll look like uh, rendered. That'll work in your animations as well.